Look familiar? All their codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall. Hey, how's it going? Chrome with Chris here, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 2. Looks like we've got a nice little message from uh, our old friend Altair. Uh, the Leonardo's going to uh, decipher it for us. Hopefully. What do we have to do up here? Where is it telling me to go? My attic? Maybe? Possibly the roof. Yeah, I think it might be the roof. Or maybe if I just read the blooming thing at the bottom, it literally tells me I've got to go to the viewpoint. Duh. Oops. Shame that I've already done that. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm looking for four codex pages now. Well, there's one here. They're not very well lighted, and it's quite obvious. Someone could just steal this if they randomly just came across it. Then I'd be snookered. Oh, what was that? Okay, statue. Oh, there's another statue. These must be the statues that go around the uh, around the villa. So I'll I'll have to check that. It might be that. All the statues are actually around uh, Monte Montecinerano. Sorry for butchering that. Whoever speaks Italian. But yeah, I'm going to imagine that they're all around here somewhere. 
Because there's another one. Venus. Okay, so there should be one more. Ah. <laughs> That'll be why I can't find it quickly. It's that. It's all the way over there. I think it's here is anything but shy. Right, uh, I need to follow that path. Go, go, go. A shiny white steed for the way back. Ah, uh, oh, okay. I thought it was going to go see Da Vinci. Uh, Leonardo, so. But I must see Claudia. Will it let me take this in? No. Of course not. Can't ride a horse in the city, stupid boy. Right, uh, Claudia is upstairs. Yes. Oh no, she might be downstairs. There she is. Ooh, shiny box. Income. Okay. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, <laughs> I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Alright, so do I have to actually go to the shops to do this? Here's the guy. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Serezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can spell money. If you want to fix up this town, <laughs> I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. 
if you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Absolutely. Hey, here we go. So, art, bank, blacksmith, doctor, tailor, brothel, because every town needs a brothel, mines, church, military barracks, thieves guild, and a well. I think, um, I'm going to do something I can afford to start with. Which is definitely not any of those. So level one uh, art merchant then. Let's get some money. Salute, Claudia. You here to look at the book? No. No, I don't. I don't want to look at the book. Thank you. Such a, such a kind offer. Alright, oh, what's this? Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. Ooh. I'm surprised that Tio's not talking. Because the fact that this is under the villa is pretty damn impressive. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought this six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. I'd love to. He looks like Robin Hood. Ah, he's Mongolian. Have a quick look at all these. Ooh. Okay. Something else I have to collect. Leading me back to Florence. I'm going to use this fast travel. Let's see if I can afford it. Workshop, yeah, I kind of need to go there.
Let's just get rid of that poster. Before it becomes a bigger thing. Honey, I'm home. Ezio, you are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Haha! -ha! You found another one! How exciting! Hmm. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm, what to make of all this? Ha <laughs> ha, of course, and why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! Cool. Assassination techniques in the courtyard. This courtyard. Okay. How am I supposed to do this one from behind? No, can't be. Must be from above. If I can get there. Yeah. Oh. I just did that. All right, it's done. All right, I just need to get up here. Nice and easy. I've done it. Come quickly. Look. Take it. Try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. The fox. Shh. Apisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato, where the thieves dwell. Start then, to amico. La Volpe. Right. Do I need to see him? No. I might have needed to see him about the uh, other codex pages that I've picked up along the way. Hello, thieves. Looks like we've got some new viewpoints. That's not the glyph. Do you see what's going on? Oh, not yet. But you will. Okay, you got another glyph to solve here. Wielded cut down their enemies. 
I'm gonna assume it's something to do with sword. He's got a sword. Already added him. Sword there. I don't like him. There's a sword. I've already done that one. No, doesn't like him either. There we go. Oh, the, a sword is one of the pieces of Eden. Okay. Lean on a great force. I'm going to shoot him in something to do with the uh, cane or a uh, scepter or something. Stuff. Okay, so all together, it's very confusing. Of your with God, boy. Oh, here comes the uh, the cavalry. Did I actually equip my other one? I'm not sure.
Another capering crusader. Attento! Alright, that'll do for this episode. Hope you enjoyed, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!